hope you're all doing well and I hope you had a wonderful Sylvester celebration. Michael and I celebrated together, just the two of us, and we made tacos and had just a chilled evening. It was not as every year, because normally we would go on a Sylvester party, but it was beautiful and very special. <laughs> So as the weather is so mystical today, I thought I would take you on a very special place. It's also that it's still the time of the Rauhnächte and during the Rauhnächte I love mystical things and I also love to connect a little bit with the ancestors of the land and the history of the land. And that's what I'm doing today. And I'm taking you along. So stay tuned if you want to know where I'm going <laughs> and what is so special there. Okay, let's go on a walk in the forest, guys. at the viewpoint I wanted to go and this was not always just a viewpoint. Where I'm standing here in this exact same spot there was a big medieval castle many hundred years ago. And I mean it is a perfect place. As you see you have a magical overview of the whole land and the hill is very steep. Therefore it was a perfect location to defend yourself from invaders. Believe me, it's still hard to get up here today and I mean I'm not attacked by arrows or anything <laughs> but it is so steep and especially in the winter when it's also slippery it's so hard to get up And also down, that's actually much more difficult. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> but actually also the Romans, who conquered South Germany 2000 years ago, saw this rock on this hill and knew that it was the perfect place to build an observation tower. The scientists know that because they found Roman coins in this place. And also in this direction was an important Roman street that was connecting Roman cities and military bases so I think the Romans monitored the street from up here to protect it against the wild Germanic tribes. They actually steal the land from, but okay. <laughs> In the medieval time this castle up here was one of the most powerful and oldest in the region. And they actually dammed the river down in the moor area where I'm usually filming and created a lake so they can fish there and catch other water animals to feed their people. I found this beautiful old map in our village chronicle 
where you can see the lake underneath the castle. I just wonder how it looked like back then. I mean, I live in this village since my childhood and it's so crazy. It must have looked so different with this big castle on this hill and a lake down there. I wish I could see it, but well, that's not possible. <laughs> From the wonderful castle, there is unfortunately nothing left except one entrance. Nevertheless, it is a place of great power and energy. And I love to come here and connect with it, with this long history of 2000 years of this place. And I mean, also I come here because of the magical view over the land and also into the Bavarian Alps, which you can't see today. <laughs> They would be in the background, but yeah, it is so foggy. But I can show you some footage I filmed another day where you can see it. And I think it is so beautiful. We actually have another castle on the other side of the village where there are some medieval walls and a part of a tower left. I mean, it's not much, but still exciting. So if you want me to go there and also tell you the story of this castle, please tell me in the comments, um, because I'm really, really interested in this, but I want to know if you're interested too. So now it's getting really dark, as you can see, and I'm also cold, <laughs> so I will go back now. I think there is nothing better than having a warm cup of tea after a winter walk in the forest. <laughs> Connecting with your ancestors and the ancestors of your land, as I did it today, is a tradition of the Raunechte that maybe goes back in the time of the Celtic tribes or at least to the medieval ages. I mostly connected with the history and the ancestors of this land here today because it's actually not really the history of my ancestors, of our family. Our family is probably about 150 years or so in this village. But nevertheless, I feel somehow a little bit connected to the people that were living here in this area long ago, maybe in the Roman time or even before and in the medieval ages. And I'm so fascinated by it because they were walking on the same ground as I am walking now. <laughs> and I just think that's crazy. And it was so interesting for me to learn about the history of this castle and the area here. So yeah. I think it's a pretty cool tradition. This video will hopefully come out on the 6th of January, which is also the last day of the Raunechte. So there is still a possibility for you to do it like me now, if it somehow inspired you and connect with 
the ancestors of the land where you're living or the history of it. So you can maybe Google it or find also a village chronicle or a city chronicle of your place and look it up there. Then you can visit the place that fascinated you the most and connect with it, with all this new knowledge in your mind. And yeah, I think it's a beautiful and fun activity and also very exciting because now I somehow appreciate the place here even more because I know of this long history it has. I already knew a little bit about the medieval age history because of the castles and the castle hill you can't overlook, but I didn't know about the Romans, for example. And I mean, that was 2000 years ago, as I said, so really crazy. So friends, I hope you enjoyed this more simple and chatty video. The thing is that I'm still at my parents at the moment and I just have my laptop with me and well, it refuses to process complicated videos, <laughs> especially drone footage. So this video <laughs> must be enough for today. I hope you have the most magical week and we will see us next Wednesday.